vehicle to internal power, separation of the first tower. Copy the that. first umbilical now separating from the rocket. Umbilical tower separation in process. Copy that. And concur. T minus 20 seconds and counting. Second tower separate. Turbo pumps at flight speed. We have ignition of the Soyuz. Excellent thrust. And liftoff. Liftoff as Chris Cassidy, Pavel Vinogradov, and Alexander Mazurkin are on a fast track to the International Space Station. stage performance. The Soyuz is delivering 102 tons of thrust from its four boosters and single engine. The first stage of the Soyuz measures 68 feet in length and 24 feet in diameter. It is burning liquid fuel for the first two minutes and six seconds of flight. Combustion chamber pressure nominal. One minute into the flight. Spacecraft is nominal. We're one minute into the flight. Copy. Pitch go and roll nominal. Velocity is now approaching 1,100 miles per hour. 70 seconds into the flight. Flight is proceeding nominally. One minute, 30 seconds into the flight. Everything going according to plan. 90 seconds. Stage one operating nominally. Copy, Glomny. Spacecraft is nominal. We feel great. Copy, Karate. 110 seconds. Two minutes, five seconds into the flight, the four strap-on boosters have now been jettisoned. These have completed their job and have dropped away at an altitude of 28 statute miles. The Soyuz is traveling at about 3,350 miles an hour now. Vehicle stable. There's a look at Chris Cassidy. Sitting in the left seat, Pavel Vinogradov, the commander of the Soyuz, there in the middle, just off to the right of the screen. Alexander Mazurkin there off to the far right. Two engines are stable. There you see Pavel Vinogradov in the middle. Alexander Mazurkin there on the right-hand side. So again, Chris Cassidy, Alexander Mazurkin, Pavel Vinogradov having a fairly smooth ride up into space today. They now begin a fast track with the International Space Station now chasing down the orbiting complex, which is now up over the Pacific. Yes, работа ДПО. ДПО is operating. 1345 метров, скорость 36. meters. Alexander Mazurkin getting his first view of the International Space Station. Pavel Vinogradov getting his first view since several years ago, back in 2006. And even though Chris Cassidy flew on STS-127, the International Space Station changed so rapidly during the final uh, few shuttle missions that uh, this orbiting complex is going to look quite a bit different even since he was there. Yes, we have oscillation, but probably it's very reflection. A range 485 meters. The Soyuz 34 continuing to close in on the International Space Station, parts of the Russian segment and the truss of the International Space Station very clearly coming into view now. There's a look at the Soyuz 34 from the Space Station's cameras as it continues to close in. These two vehicles are traveling high above the South Pacific Ocean, currently just to the west of 
South America. The orange red is going down 80 meters. So we're just move four. Copy. This vehicle is 80 meters away from the International Space Station, approaching between one and two meters per second. 80 meters, zero decimal four. Copy, less than a minute prior to night. 40 meters. Copy. Our VKA. I don't know what this is, but it's a Right here in the middle. We are now in the The target is nearly at the very center. Just a few meters now in between the Soyuz and the International Space Station standing by for contact and capture. The tail is the center. in place. Okay. Waiting for the search for the capture. So congratulations. Contact and capture confirmed at 9.28 p.m. Central Time, 10.28 p.m. Eastern Time. The two vehicles flying high above the Pacific Ocean, just to the west of Peru. Once again, Chris Cassidy, Alexander Mazurkin, and Pavel Vinogradov have arrived at the International Space Station after close to six hours from launch to docking. So this is our final destination, final station.